So as I'm pretty well assured that most of you out there have seen, heard, or been affected by all these different cyber attacks that have been taking place. The big one that cost $4.4 million to release their information back to them and unlock their computers, that was the Colonial Pipeline. We haven't quite found out exactly what, how much that JBS Meat Processing had to pay to receive their information back and unlock their systems. Now, what can we do to stop this? What is the government doing to try to stop this? Is some of what they wanna do, is it just pointless, a waste of money? Is it just something that is a fact of life now? Is this what we have to look forward to in this time that we live in? The latest cyber attacks of 2021 are only going to get worse. And they're going to try to hit us exactly where it hurts, where it's going to affect the most people. They're going to try to take out whatever they can. They're going to try to hit the main infrastructures in our societies today. Your hospitals, they've already started. Now they're going into the smaller towns and everything else. They're going after hospitals. They're going after city halls. They're going after police departments. They're going after everything. They really want to hit our electrical grid and try taking that down. And I wouldn't be surprised if they try going after cell phone companies in the near future. Because see, if they can lock out your cell phones and block your service, where you can't reach out and touch someone with your phone, AKA 911 especially, what are we gonna do then? A lot of these hospitals have been forced to follow back on using pad and paper. So follow me along here, folks, because I got some articles that I want to back up what I'm saying here. And I just want to give you guys some good information. And let's see if we can all figure out what the main plan may be. And maybe the government's saying too much on the Internet, because why would you want to give your enemy kind of like the notes on what you're going to do and how you're going to do it? I'm going to show you that here in just a second. So stick with me, let's get going. Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Now this is in the past 24 hours. And some of the stuff that is going on out there is just unbelievable. The White House grapples with the spike in ransomware attacks as cyber vulnerabilities are laid bare. So what are they gonna be doing? Cyber attacks reveal the truth about the network vulnerabilities. And so the whole network is very vulnerable. It is a literally a nightmare out there folks and you got to make sure that you're doing whatever you can to protect yourself i'm going to talk more about that uh, south korea under mega cyber attacks and pandemic driven online error all right ever since the pandemic and everything else i think a lot of these hackers and everything they saw that oh we're down and out and everybody everybody is down and out so let's just go after them now because we can hit them while they're down well Yes, that is so true. That's usually what happens when another person, another country is down and out. You know, these people want to go after the uh, after the other countries. Now, we all know that a lot of this is being Russian based. And what can we do to stop that? We can't just drop boots on the ground now because this isn't that kind of a war. This is a cyber war, folks. This is going to be the next big war that's going to take place. And it's all going to be done through cyber it's all going to be done through the internet back and forth and they're going to try to go after anything and everything that they possibly can as cyber attacks surge biden seeks to mount a better defense well he better jump on the bandwagon really quick and come up with something better than what's going on now because there has to be some way to stop this but as you're going to see in a few more articles here you know uh, it's not just the government it's these software companies that are really causing some problems here, folks, because they're worried about the old mighty dollar. They're not worried about you, me, and any of the infrastructure that could come down the pike and really hurt us. You know, if they go after some of the big major things, the GPS satellites, a power grid, your cell phone service, and everything else, if they want to cripple people, they want to cripple a country, they can do it. If they get in, because some of these 
companies out there that are designing all this high-tech software and stuff are skimping on certain things these people are smart and they're figuring out where those little holes are that they can get in and once they're in game over folks it's just not going to be good how can you protect your business and family from cyber attacks well that's an easy one folks you need to get out there and you need to make sure that you're getting something like norton antivirus mcafee i have mcafee on my computer systems my laptops my cell phones you buy a family package deal okay you pay a hundred and some odd dollars a month sometimes you can catch it on sale and it will protect everything that you have in your home from your cell phone laptops computers everything and I think that's the way to go. You want to make sure that you stay up on that. If you ever do click on a link and it pops up and it tells you, hey, you probably shouldn't be going here, folks. Don't be going there because it's going to be bad news. If you really get what I'm saying here. OK, it's telling you this isn't a trusted site. This is not a good place to go. Make sure that you back out and do not click to go forward. South Korea under mega cyber attacks and pandemic driven online area. See, they're going after every country that is part of the pandemic, which is the whole world. You know what I'm saying, folks? It just doesn't get any more self-explanatory than they're trying to exploit the fact that the pandemic has a lot of countries down right now. They're more concentrated on trying to save people than trying to figure out what's going on about the Internet. What questions do you have about cyber attacks? Well, I have a lot of questions. I want to know who the hell is going to stop this thing or try to put a stop to this. Now, you're going to see in another article at the very end of this video on what the government is doing. But I don't know if this is such a good thing because it's like basically laying out your war map so the other country can see what you're going to do. You'll see, folks. Schools, businesses target during increase in ransom cyber attacks. They're going after all the small communities now, the, the, the huge metropolitan areas and everything else. And they're attacking the hospitals and everything. It's just goes on and on, folks. I mean, this is all within the last 24 hours. Jacksonville companies on alert after the latest string of cyber attacks. What more can I say? It's everywhere, folks. Local utility companies employing strategies to prevent ransomware attacks. They're worried about them going after the grid. It's just a fact, folks. It's only a matter of time. That's why you need to be prepared. Because if they do, it could get ugly really quick. And it's not a situation you really want to be in. Hospital businesses see more cyber attacks and hackers during pandemic. Exactly. Like I said, why wouldn't you want to try to hit a hospital and stuff and shut it down when it's trying to treat thousands of patients because of COVID-19 and, you know, people are dying. What are you going to do? You got them by the balls, right? They, they want the money and everything else, and they're going to get it because if they don't, people are going to die. Now, let's just move right over here. All right. We all know about the JBS and the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attacks are just a fraction of what U.S. is up against. The DOJ officials warn CEOs of all these major companies. Now, a top Justice Department official issued an extraordinary plea to the nation's CEOs on Friday, batting down the digital hatches against the expected onslaught of devastating ransomware attacks, saying that the Malicious hacks that shut down the Colonial Pipeline and meat supply networks were just the beginning, folks. That's right. It's just the beginning. What do you mean it's just the beginning? This message needs to be to the viewers here, to the CEOs around the country, that you got to be on notice of an increase of these attacks. They're telling you. The government's warning these CEOs and everything else. Right here in Florida, look at this, okay? Experts look into a possible cyber attack at Florida hospitals. Now, this one took place in the villages. Now, if you don't know what the villages is, it's one of the largest retirement communities in the United States. There's over 130,000 people that live in this community. It's like their own little town. They drive around in the little golf carts and everything else, and they all have fun and everything. They have their own little town, hospitals, the whole nine yards, okay? and they basically are going after them 
Experts are investigating after computer systems of two Central Florida hospitals show signs of unusual activities. The Village's Regional Hospital and the UF Health Leesburg Hospital shut down multiple systems to protect patient information during the event Monday night. You're going to see why that's important coming up next. Switching to pen and paper to document patient visits. News outlets report. All right, now let's move over here. The ransomware. All right, the Internet's biggest security crisis is getting worse. No kidding, right? I mean, come on. We need a way out. Is there a way out, folks? I don't believe there is because you're going to find that out right here. Okay. Now let's just scroll down to right here. Ransomware gangs are getting craftier and nastier in their relentless pursuit of profit. It's all about money, folks. It's not enough to break into a computer system and encrypt the data to render it useless, like what they've been doing. Now the crooks are stealing some of the data and threatening to reveal it. Uh-oh, that sounds like a bad thing for some people, right? And it's not just data, such as Customer records, the cyber criminals will look for anything that might be sensitive or embarrassing. How dare they? Right? On the network. And use the threat of publishing it as a leverage against victims. And in many cases, it works. People pay because they don't want the little embarrassing things brought out about them. So what can be done to stop these attacks? Organizations of all sides need to understand the ransomware threat and figure out how to improve their own security. Even getting the basics right can go a long way towards deterring hacks. The software industry, now this is where it gets interesting folks, also needs to do a better job of building secured software. It's going to happen. That's unlikely. Pretty sad, right? As there's just too much pressure to ship software fast, and generate profit. They want the money, folks. They're not worried about you and me or the grid, cell phone service, or whatever else they want to take down, the colonial pipeline, the meat industry, food industry, whatever it may be. The multiple ways that comp companies can customize and integrate software also means that it is, even if it ships as perfectly secure Security holes will emerge as soon as it is in the real world. So once they put it out there and they start using it, folks, basically what happens is these people know where the issues are, where the holes are that they can get into. Worse, ransomware groups are adapting and seizing on newly discovered flaws and utilizing them as part of their attacks with ransom money provided funds to sustain longer and more complicated attacks in the longer term the general shift to cloud computing which has so far proved more secure might help so we're all going to be going to the clouds does that include mars i don't know we'll find out now let's just take a look real quick here at what the government is doing okay now this is the cyber and infrastructure security agency this was all put in place by mr trump President Trump there, and that lays out all different types of things. I'll try to put links to these things here so you all can go in and look at it. If you'd like to choose and read some of this, go right ahead. But this is my problem. I'm laying out a war map of what we can do, how we can get around and make sure that uh, we don't fall victim and things of that nature. So we're giving the enemy the roadmap to our success. Not very good, folks. Now, yes, the internet is a really good thing, and um, there's a lot of good things about the internet. Uh, it's a great way you can stay in touch with uh, friends and loved ones. Uh, a lot of people do all your banking. We all know that everybody goes on the internet to order. Without that, Amazon would not be in business now, would it? Okay, so if something happens, it's all written out right here. You have your cybersecurity training and exercises, your cybersecurity summit 2020, where I'm sure they're going to be talking about all the different things that are going on that they're going to be trying to do and how they're going to do it. It goes right down through. As you can see, there is a whole list of all this different type of stuff. 
You know, I mean, it's all written for you right here in black and white. But it's written for everybody in the world in black and white. That's the problem that we're facing. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I would urge everyone out there to be aware of what is going on in the cyber world because that is where we're going to have problems. So the latest cyber attacks for 2021 are only going to get worse. And if we're not prepared for something that we can't see and we can only control our own computers and our cell phones and laptops, we can't control all these huge companies with these CEOs that are money hungry that aren't really paying attention to what they are being warned about because it will affect their old mighty dollar. That's going to be the problem. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody stays safe. Keep prepping. Check your system out. Make sure that it's locked down as good as it can be. Make sure you have great security passwords that nobody can break. And make sure you're thriving to survive, folks. Because until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.